Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you for the love and support. You know, if I when I push out these positive videos and just for you to be able to send validation towards me that I'm doing a good job or validation towards the, the videos that is, you know, sending you affirmations or whatever you know validating you that you're on the right path or if you're you're heading towards my way obviously you're, you're learning a lot from me as I learn a lot from you which is truly a blessing so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacts your life and heading you towards positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos just gave you good um, information or just good vibes that you would love to share with the loved one or friend, especially an empath that truly needs to hear it at that time, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel, showing me so much love and support um, on my videos, which is greatly appreciated. You make me feel humbled and blessed. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today I am doing a video on Twin Flame 101, connecting with your life force. Oh my gosh, you know, we, we're going through so many trying times right now. Um, today I'm listening, let me turn it up because you can't really hear it because my other one I had to turn it down because it got really loud. Um, the meditation video I'm listening to today is called 396 hertz destroy fear clear negative energy and let go of all your worries and outcome nervous energy and i will post that link in the description box below yeah i mean connecting with our life force sometimes you know we we connect with it physically emotionally mentally spiritually and sometimes when we're going through trying times it can be blocked it can be imbalanced we can feel stagnated uh stagnant um, and feel blocked at times, you know, and it, it's just all when it comes to our frame of mind, it's how much energy we're putting towards certain things, you know, if our body's in balance, we, we're having a bad day, it can really mess us up, you know, because especially if you keep concentrating on that being a bad day, and you're not trying to make a change about it, it can, you know, it can stay that way. So you have to be able to do things to make yourself happy, do things to try to change out you know the energy that you you know that you're going into because I know it sometimes it can be so hard you're like Rosalind you know you don't have to deal with what I deal with I surely don't but I'm still dealing with the stuff I'm dealing with you know I mean I'm not where I actually want to be right now but I know I'm not going to stay here you know I keep pushing positive you know thoughts mind frames with myself and it's just like I, like I tell y'all I feel so blessed since me and my dad have got connected spiritually and I know y'all probably tired of hearing me saying that but it is a true blessing especially you know I've been wanting to be around my dad for so long and just being able to be spiritually connected with him like that my dad has always even though through the hardest times he's had um, he has had um, a positive viewpoint on certain things even though he didn't speak upon the things that was bothering him he always tried to you know put a negative I mean not a negative put a positive mind frame on it a positive spin to it and you know that's a blessing to be able to do and especially with the things that you had going on you know I give him much props because you know with him being a celebrity <laughs> that's enough within itself to stress you out so it's just like with me I'm just doing my thing so you know, you never know what people are dealing with. And that's why I always love doing my videos. Because you never know what somebody's going through. You know, I always try to tell people, be gentle with yourselves. Even when I talk to people that are going through things, I try to be gentle with them. Because you never know what situation they've been put in. You know, how do people talk to them? How do people perceive them? What do they say to them? You know, I try not to be hard. Because, you know, before when I used to talk to people, I used to be straight blunt. It wasn't like I was being mean, but I wasn't taking consideration their feelings. And I, you know, and I really felt bad about that. I said, you know what? You can't be doing that. You know, you never know what kind of day they're having. You never know how people have been talking to them, how they perceive them. You know, even, you know, if they're pushing out negativity. So I always try to be connected with myself spiritually, emotionally, mentally. Um, 
physically you know and it, it's just like now I have this different mind frame even though every day is not perfect if it's something I can change I'll go ahead and convert it on to something positive you know we have to get connected that way you can't be stagnant you know, having that, that negative mind frame, all things are never going to change. Because it's just like if, you know, you keep saying that, you're pushing that to the universe and you're going to make it come true. You know, if you keep dwelling on things that, you know, have hurt you a lot. You know, I don't know why they keep on making me talk about that because a lot of people are dealing with that. I even deal with that at times. But I have to say, you know, I have to keep telling myself, don't dwell on those things. You know, let those things go. When you see a negative... Uh, thought coming up you have to be thinking about it as being in a big balloon that you need to float and let go don't engage on it don't give it any more power than it than it already has you don't suppose to give power to it if it's just like you know I, I made videos about it before like why you know these negative memories come back and it's just like it's not to remind me of anything it's just to let me know okay you're going towards positive things right now you can't hold where you're trying to go. You can't have these things with you. So we're we're asking you to, you know, is, if it's coming up like past vomit, you know how vomit is. You you know, when you get sick, you can't hold, you don't want to hold it in your mouth because it's nasty. You need to spit it out, flush it down the toilet, let it go, you know, and just do what you got to do. And it's just like, that's why you have to think about certain situations that, you know, you've been placed in. You know, don't let things trigger you. If they, you find things that are triggering you to make you stagnant in that certain situation, you have to be able to convert it and say, you know what, I'm not allowing these things to affect me anymore. I can't allow these things to affect me. If I want to be able to go on that next level, I cannot take these things with me. So, and also when, when you're, you're making that change, you can't allow your ego to get the best of you. Because I keep telling people, you know, when, when you're going through that positive change or you're going towards that next level, you know, everybody's getting, like, uh, activated left and right. I told y'all before, I see y'all either like this or, you know, you're praising the gods. And it's just like light switches are coming on back and forth. So they're having you face everything that has kept you in limbo for so long. And, you know, and, and it, times might be hard right now. Trust me, I know. Because a few days ago, I was going through it. I just didn't want to talk to nobody. I was crying a lot, you know, really missing my dad, being very depressed. I, I just didn't want to think about nothing else. But then when I knew that God was, you know, he, he says he has bigger plans for me and I need to be at that forefront. So I'm going to need you to go through all these situations that has made you mad, pissed you off. You know, put you in certain mind frames that you felt like you couldn't get out of. Yes, I had to face all those things all at one time. All at one time. You know, and you might be going through the same thing, if you, especially if you're going through a spiritual awakening where, you know, you and your twin flame are having to merge together. But you're going to have, there. you know, my dad was probably facing a lot of things that had, you know, that really upset him. Put him through some changes, all that, you know. We both had to face those things. But if we know we want to be merged in together, we can we can have those things with us when we're going through that certain level. So it, it was just like everything I had to face. And I mean, it takes strength, <laughs> strength. And I mean, all the little whatever I had, you know, my family was there. All the ones that I love that has passed on that was helping me get that strength because they knew I was facing some stuff that I that was very powerful. Could have probably damn near killed me if it, you know, it could have. But it was just a blessing to be able to face all that stuff. Even though sometimes stuff does come up that I think about. But I just don't give it power. Because I know um, my situation is changing. A change, you know, a positive change is coming towards my way. You know, I can't keep, you know, putting my mind towards that frame of mind of things that has happened to me before. You know, it's not continuing to happen now. If you know it's not happening now and you don't want to bring that aura towards yourself, you never want to keep engaging in that same miserable thought process over and over again because that's all you're going to manifest is negative. You don't want to stay up in that because, you know, when you feel like you're stagnant, you're only stagnant for that time and it's that, that mind frame you got to get yourself out of when you can believe. You know, you have to be able to believe and trust in the, in the you know, in destiny, powers that be. Better days are coming. I might not see it right now, but I got to believe it. I got to work towards it. I got to do my part. You know, what do I got to do to get myself out of this? 
you know, and it's it, it's just like Rosalind. I, I, you know, I'm going through some really messed up stuff right now. You don't know what I'm going through. No, I don't. But it, you know what you're going through, and you know if you want to get out of that situation, you have to have a different mindset. You have to have a different thought process. Don't sit up here and, you know, concentrate on the things that you're going through. Think about the things that you're trying to manifest, you're, you're trying to head towards. When you start thinking more about that and stop paying attention to the situation you're in and giving that more power than it needs to be, that's a quicker way to get up out of that. You know, because it's just like, I don't like the situation I'm in, but I know I'm not going to dwell on the situation I'm coming in because there's so many blessings that came in. And I don't even speak up on, you know, but it's a blessing that I, I have those things that's coming in towards me. These things that are going on for me right now. And it's really a true blessing for me right now. So when it allows me to be able to work on the positive, it gives me time to work on the positive things that I'm doing, making more videos, pushing out you know, information that the powers that you want me to talk to y'all about. Being able to tell you what you have gone through, you will not continue to go through. You just have to believe it. When you're going through a generational curse that your family, your forefathers, the father's fathers, your mom's moms, sisters, sisters, brothers, brothers have went through, you're gonna you're gonna cease and desist and cut that cord. You have to believe it, you're gonna cut that cord. When you're getting, you know, engaging in your life force in the most powerful, positive way. Know that these things are going to cut. You have to just believe it and keep working on it and doing your part. And know that better days are coming. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. It's not going to be as long as the other ones. This is like my eighth video I'm doing. So it's like I took a rest yesterday because I was so drained. Um, I, I don't know if I'm making any videos tomorrow. You know, tomorrow's tomorrow. <laughs> so, you know, if, if, if the universe calls for me to make some more videos tomorrow, I will do that. But if not, I will see you on my next video. I hope y'all stay blessed. I hope you have a prosperous week. Know if you have anything bad going on, it's not going to always be a bad day. You have to convert it into a positive one. If you can change it, go ahead and make a change to it. And I'll see you on my next video. Know that you are truly blessed, forever loved, and highly favored. And, better, you know, I'm praying for better days to happen for you. And my post notification shout out goes to, la, 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 la. Um, let me see. Anne Marie Slee, Lost Puppy, much love to you. Chef Disaster and Hey Oka Rumor, much love to you as well. Many blessings your way. Like and subscribe. Uh, drop me a line. Share a video. Drop, you know. Tell me how you feel about this video. You know, leave my leave your opinion wherever you see fit. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love, peace, and be wild. Well.